So, what is Origin SMP? Now, Origin SMP is a survival multiplayer server with me, your local Starboy, and a bunch of my friends. The current members of the server are Bo, Fundy, Jack Manifold, James Marriott, Niachu, Filza, Rambu, Schlatt, Sneak, Techno, Tubbo, Charlie Slimesicle, Tommy Innit, Wilbur Suit, making up the main cast of the server. Now, one thing Origin SMP is known for is notoriously losing everything and restarting. We're currently on our third season, if you can count the second one, which lasted about a couple of weeks. So I thought today I could take you on a tour of Origin SMP. Now we have done one video on this channel, which was the first session of the server launch, and since then I have been a busy boy. I have built myself many things on the server, and I thought it could be cool to sort of document it now, so that you can see all the things that change as the server progresses, or at least we have a time capsule if the server dies again in like three weeks. So you may be like, Scott, this doesn't look like you've done anything. And you're right, because over this mountain is where we get into the Origin SMP. And just over this ridge, we have it. So with 1.18 and the new generation, we got a really cool seed which sort of has a basin in the middle of this mountain range, and that is where we've called home. So the one staple of Origin SMP which has stuck with us through all of the seasons is the pub. This is our main building in our spawn and is always the center of our servers. But a few things are different this time, so we will start on the tour. Now you may be wondering what this fancy tower is, and this tower was actually a reconstruction of an original tower which was built on the first day. During the first day of season three, we had Ninja on the server and he created a sort of following known as Ninjology, and a tower was constructed in his honor, which then Tommy pushed him off off and killed him, and then he was dead. No, I didn't kill him! I didn't kill him! He, he killed Ninja. He killed Ninja. Him he Ninja. Him he I mean, man, he just, he killed him no, and I watched it. We're all it. equal, we're all equal. You watched him kill Ninja? But having it been Tommy that built it, it was ugly and I couldn't deal with that. So after getting his permission, I deconstructed it and left it with some ruins and built a brand new tower here, which looks much better and looks out over the server. Now if you follow the path around here, we have this big building here, which is again, not finished, mainly because it's not one I built, and that is the Origin SMP library. So this is going to be a library by James Marriott, who is in charge of collecting stories and information and collecting it in one place on the server. Now when you get to this point, you have two options. You can either take the Starway Express Bridge along to the other side, or follow the path round. For now, we'll follow the path round. Now all the paths are like this, and I did these super cute little lantern designs sort of spotted around so that it kind of keeps the area lit up at night. I did do my best to make all of the spawn area mob proof, so nothing should hurt you while you're in this area. Over here we have Rambo's cave, and if you go further down the street we have Tubbo's house. Across from Tubbo's house is a Wilbursuit shack here, which is a super cute little cottage. And if you go further down the hill, you come to Wilbur's potion shop where you can buy some potions for some diamonds. Which does kind of go against ninjology, but like, I'm not going to stop a man trying to get his bread. So once you come down here, we come to the first other building, aside from the pub that was built on this server, and that is the communal farms. So I built these so that everyone had a sort of food source, mainly because everyone dies a lot and we constantly run out of it. So we have a ring of wheat, a ring of carrots, and then beets and potatoes, along with the seed shack here where we keep all of our extras. And as you can see at the very top of the tallest mountain, we have a moon and some stars with some purple hobbit holes built into it. And that is my house. I decided, because I'm quite a mobile character, to live at the very top closest to the sky. Because you know I'm, I'm like a star. But we will get to that part later. What we now do is follow the path around to the server pagoda. And this was something I've really wanted to build for a while, and this server just felt like the perfect place to do it. So we have this wonderful pagoda, and I've decided to turn it into a communal storage room. Do I think it will actually get used and people will contribute? No, but it was still an excuse to build it. So inside we just have some storage of different things, and that will eventually get filled out hopefully. But you come out the other side, and the path brings you up here. We have these cute little ponds with a waterfall that's sort of flowing from a natural spring. And then if we go up here, 
you pass by two other houses. Now we have Bose Tower over here and we have Jack Manifold's Volcano. Now you can see it's actually built of three different materials, that's because of me. It originally was all just stone, but I thought it looked ugly and asked if I could change it and he said yes. So, it's still a work in progress, but it looks much better. Now if we come up here and cut through this cave, it will bring you to the other side of the Starway Express, where you will just grab a minecart, pop it down and have a little move, and it will take you across to the other side of spawn. The reason we needed this is we have a couple members, Jack and Rambo, who cannot be in the rain. So if it's raining, they're kind of stuck at whatever side of spawn they are. So this was a way for them to get across quickly and safely. Also, it's just very fun. Now, speaking of water, we have one member, Niachu, who actually can't be out of water. So I decided to over here, build Nikki a cave. So you'll notice this overgrown cave with a pool of water at the bottom and this means she can live down there in this lovely lush cave without any worry about dying. Eventually we will connect it down to the big lake in the middle so that she can then move freely. And speaking of moving freely, as you can see down here we have a Mario pipe and that water actually connects to the communal farms. That was a way so that Nikki could swim up from here through there and actually get to the crops if she needed them. Now back at the ninja tower in the sky we have this lovely rocket ship pyramid thing. No one really knows why. But that is in fact the Crowfather Philz's nest. And then up here we also have Tommy's house. Now this is again house in quotation marks, but he's basically built a bunch of pads so he can parkour up to his house for some reason. I, I mean you could just climb outside the mountain, I don't know why, but he did. Now that means the last thing that we need to tour in the spawn area is my house. So as you can see up here we have a little private farm area, a lovely view down on the rest of the server, and if we come up here and go through the front door, we have this wonderful little cave. So I have a crafting area over here, some storage and a recessed floor. And if you come around here, we have a bedroom. Now I can't actually sleep on the server. That's one of the things with my origin. As a starborn, I am not allowed to sleep. So it's purely decorative, which is why the house is kind of empty. But I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Origins SMP. Now, I know this video is a little bit more of a time capsule than anything else. There are also a few other things on the server that are far away, such as Rambo's Stronghold, my XP farm, Filza's other base, and many other fun things that you will need to catch live on all of our streams. But I thought this would be a fun little video to throw out just to kind of see where the Origin SMP is and where it's come from. It's always fun to have these things to look back on and I think because this isn't a series I do as an SMP series, I thought it would be a fun way to sort of keep a track of it and see what we're actually doing. Also just to let all the people on YouTube know, it's not dead yet, I promise. I mean it's it's kind of going but it's not dead yet. So if you want to see me stream on the server, make sure to hit the follow button over on twitch.tv slash smajor as I am live almost every day and quite often it is on this server for now. But if you have any ideas on what we can add to the server to make it all that much better, please let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit the notification bell so you do not miss a video and I will see you all next time. Bye!